Hello, everybody. This is Camille. Today, let's keep learning how to create an animated color changing effect like this. If you haven't watched our first tutorial about this, click here to watch. In the last tutorial, we've shown you how to create a text color changing effect. Today, let's have a look at how to make text shake and add other details. Firstly, we need to click on here to create a new text clip. Then we adjust the font and the color of the text. Like last time we did, we choose pink. And remove the shadow effect. We need to change the text content. Here I enter video proc as a demonstration. Then we click on here to create a guide in the center. Place the text in the center. Then click on the snapshot button in the upper corner. Video Proc Blogger will save a snapshot for the current frame to the local disk. Let's drag that snapshot to the media library. Then we add it to the video track. Set its duration to around 2 seconds. Next, we need to create a shake effect. Click on here to enter the motion editor. Then we hit this button to access more presets. Find out Earthquake. Move the playhead to the position where we want a shake effect to start. Click on Add. Have a look at what we get. Hmm, it's shaking. Hit apply to save our changes. Now let's create a text color changing effect. To get there, we need a picture with blue text. We can change the text color to white, and then we repeat the snapshot saving and importing steps. Or we can directly make a copy and click on here to enter the color editor in the filter panel. Go to HSL and change its color to blue or any other color you love. Then hit apply. In this way, we get a picture with blue text. Next, let's add a pink footage onto the overlay track. Go to the inspector panel to find a fade and move. Check on fade in. Move the duration slider to the maximum volume. Preview what we get. Hmm, we get both the color changing and the shaky effect. Then let's make the zoom effect in the end. Let's import the snapshot. Adjust its length. This will be okay. Click on here to enter the motion editor. Add a keyframe here. And keep the size of the selection box the same as the screen. Then after half of the second, we add a second keyframe. Let's zoom in a little bit. Next, after it, let's add our third keyframe. The size of its selection box 
should be the same as that of the second keyframe. Last, after half of the second, we add our last keyframe. The picture returns to the original size. Let's take a preview. Hmm, we get the zoom effect. However, the shifts feel a little bit abrupt and not smooth. Let's select the first keyframe. Go to speed and choose to speed up. Choose the second keyframe. Select smooth speed down number one. As for the third keyframe, use this speed mode. Last, we choose to speed down number two for the last keyframe. After that, let's tweak the intervals between keyframes. Take a preview. Mm, it looks much better. Hit apply to save the changes. Last, we need to add some details. Hit transitions and drag the zoom blurring transition effects onto here. Shorten the duration a little bit. Here, I want to show that we are slowly powering water into the words. 2022, the word changes once it's filled up with water, and finally, it sucks the water. We can add some effects, such as bubbles, transitions, and sucking water to match the text effects. Let's add these effects to the positions of the relevant videos. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. Don't forget to try these tricks in your project. If you want to know more editing tricks or the latest news about Video Product Flagger, be sure to click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. See you in our next editing tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!